This video is dedicated in the memory of my best friend Michael, who we very sadly lost late last year. I'm Phil, by the way, and with my backpack full of my tent and all my gear, I set off to walk around the Radna Foylan, which is a coastal walk around the Isle of Man. Carrying everything with me and sleeping out under the stars, I'll be getting the train and the ferry from Liverpool and setting off on my week-long adventure. I'm not gonna lie, my bag's heavy, but I couldn't take any gear out of it, so here we go. Just on my way to the ferry from uh, the port in Liverpool. In fact, I'll show you, the ferry's on the other side. There it is. In the shadow of the formidable library building. And we're off. We're actually on Douglas now. Just had my first pint. Obligatory, obviously. And now we're heading off. Douglas is looking lovely. It's not a bit drizzly, but it isn't raining, so we'll take that. For those of you that have donated already, thank you so much. It means the world to me. And for those of you who are hanging on to see how I get on, and I'm waiting for me to fall flat on my face and make a bit of an idiot of myself, you won't have to wait long. Hello, first little break. I've done about five and a half K in about two hours, but I was lazy coming out of Douglas. Uh, now I'm on the trail proper. There's Douglas back there in the background. I'm in Onshan and uh, the cliffs here are pretty dramatic. The sea is fantastic. I've got about two and a half hours sunlight left so we should get to um i can't know where i'm going baldrine baldrine um in about an hour and a half so yeah plenty of time set up camp somewhere and uh, enjoy the sunset Hello, hello. It's been a right windy one, so ignore the hair. I found, I've got two um, Bal Drine, and I found this little bay, and here is going to be camp tonight. Mine is the fisherman. Michael would have loved it here, honestly. What a great first day. I am shattered. It's only about half past nine, but I'm done in. Hey, found a really good camp spot in a little bay in, um, I can't remember where I am, Baldrine, that's it. Um, right on the beach and a little fire. I had my tea, nice little cup of coffee. And I'm just gonna turn in. I'm gonna get up early about six-ish 
think sunrise is about 6.40, so I'll get up for that. And then to, tomorrow I'm going to Laxey. I'm going to go and have a look at the Laxey wheel. I'm going to go up Snaefell Summit and back down again. And then head off to Glen Mona. So quite a big day tomorrow. Uh, I think it's about 30k. Um, today was about 12. I did it in about three hours, so it wasn't bad going really. Um, but my rucksack is on its final legs um, and it's giving me some pain in my shoulder, so I'll have to watch out for that. Just make sure I pack my bag properly, you know, really well tomorrow. So good night and I'll see you tomorrow. And we're off, day two. It's about quarter to eight in the morning. I've just left this lovely little bay. Sunrise it was incredible. Big day today, about 30k. I'm gonna leave here, head to Laxey. Go and check out the Laxey wheel. And then there's a big lump called Snaefell. So I'm gonna walk up there. I don't really need to. It's not part of the coastal path, but why not? I'm here, so may as well give it a go. And then on to Glen Mona, Glen Mona, I say Mona, where hopefully I'll camp again in another nice little bay. Let's go. Day two's been a good one so far. Just needs it. Do you know what? I've chosen the wrong time to video. This is a proper sketchy path. Uh, day two's been a good one so far. Laxey's lovely. I've met some amazing people. Uh, Laxey wheel was impressive. And then got the, uh, the tram, the tram up to Snaefell. Sat up there for a bit. I was gonna walk up and then decided against it. Today's a long enough day as it is walk-wise, so uh, there's no need to do the extra 16k or whatever it's going to put on my walk. Uh, and now I'm off to head towards Glen Mona. 
Um, and I'm thinking I might get up to Mackled. Now, apparently it's spelled like it, like it should sound, like Mallold. But apparently it's pronounced Mackled. So there you go. Sun's out. Today was supposed to be absolutely chucking it down. But it's not, it's lovely. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this afternoon. Get to Glen Manor, the beach there. Do the Marthy's challenged me on Twitter to do a cartwheel on the beach for a donation. So I'm going to give that a go. I know it's not technically on the beach, but the beach is really pebbly. So hopefully the grass by the sea will do. morning uh, it's about 10 past six sun's just coming up i've just made a brew um yeah i'm just going to enjoy the sunrise for a little bit uh today i am well i'm waking up in a place called Kornar beach um i'd planned to get to mackle yesterday but i went into the pub the glen mona pub and then well i was in a pub so i stayed there for a bit uh, longer than i thought i was going to got chatting to some people some locals um Really lovely, lovely people in there last night. It was fantastic. Um, and yeah, just the generosity of strangers is a really humbling thing. Just some guy I was chatting to for a little bit. He sponsored me 50 quid. Charlie Whip, you're a legend. Uh, and then his friend, Colin, also donated to me as well. Really lovely family that I met yesterday, more than in Laxey. They've donated some money, Chris and Rebecca. Uh, thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So, yeah, I'm going to head up the final part of the East Coast today, up through uh, Mackled and then into Ramsey and up and over the Point of Air. And I'll camp somewhere along the Point of Air uh, on the West Coast tonight. Um, unfortunately, my sleep mat has developed a bit of a slow puncture. So um, I know there's a, an outdoor place in Ramsey. Uh, thanks to Chris and Rebecca for giving me the heads up on that. So I think I'll I'll pop in there and see if there's any way of either working out what's wrong with my mat or biting a bullet and to buy another one because I can't carry on uh, uh, having this broken sleep because I'm shattered. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to have my brew, enjoy the sun coming up for a little bit, have some breakfast, and then uh, and then get on the way. Breakfast today is brought to you by a bag of overnight oats. I know it doesn't look very appealing, but actually this is great food for the morning. Good energy in there. And I mix it up myself. So I do two parts porridge, one part coffee mate, teaspoon of sugar, and then a handful of tropical trail mix. Stick it up with water overnight and in the morning, good to go. 
Right then, day three is on. All packed away. Just leaving this beautiful little bay here. And I'm heading up towards Muckled and then Ramsey and up over the point of air, which then puts me on the west coast. Again, another pretty rubbish night's sleep, thanks to my sleep map. You know, it is what it is, so you've got to deal with these things. Weather's going to be glorious today, so yeah, hopefully a good day's walking. And uh, let's see what we should see today, shall we? I am currently stood on Mucklehead. Uh, the lighthouse is just to my left, but this is the coastline I've walked so far. So right very far in the distance, that's Baldrine. That's where I spent my first night. And you go in from there to here, Ballara. That's where the Lapsi is, in from there. And then this first little sort of lump here is Glen Mona. That's where I spent last night. All this bit at the front here, I couldn't walk around. It's been a big landslide on the coastal path, so I had to take the road in. There's the lighthouse. around this point you go around sort of to northeasterly you get to Ramsey and then on from there is the point of air over there in the distance is Ramsey and then the point of air that's the most northernmost tip I'll go up and around there today and my phone sorts itself out, there we go. It's absolutely massive.
I don't think today is a big day. I am currently here. I'm going to yomp all the way down here. All the way down here. Other side of the map. Take my clip. Actually, maybe here somewhere. I'm thinking of camping tonight. 36k, that is. The longest day so far, or the longest day of the whole trip. Um, and apparently, a lot of it is on the beach. It's shingly, there's no wind in the beach. I don't know if I have to. But yeah, wish me luck.